I'm up here in the woods, and I'm taking you to a gun range. Let's go check it out. I'm up here in the Tillamook Forest at one of our beautiful shooting ranges. Now these are all over the state of Oregon. They're all free to the public. You can disperse camp anywhere up here. It's pretty amazing. I know that I'm very blessed. I wanted to talk about hearing protection. Okay, here you can see the walkers that I've got on my head, the electronic walkers, the razors. These are incredible. You know, it makes you basically like a secret agent. You put these on, turn it on, and you can hear somebody 20 feet away perfectly in a conversation. So it's like a special power. If you've been around guns that are going boom, 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 you know how loud it is. If you don't have any hearing protection on, you got big problems. And over time, you will lose your hearing. You'll severely damage it. So at the minimum, you're gonna want, you know, some sort of earplugs. And then I highly recommend you've got, you know, some sort of a electronic like these Walker, you know, Walker's Razor. That way you can hear what's going on, you know, with other people at the shooting range so you can communicate. But I double them up, okay? So I'm gonna put these in first, put on the walkers. I can still hear what's going on. And I know that I've got pretty much the highest level of hearing protection I can have. It only takes a minute, right? Slap these guys in there. You ever been around live music, spent time in front of speakers at concerts, and then wondered why you're going deaf in your <laughs> mid thirties, you'll understand how important it is to have good hearing protection. So that's it. What, what did that take me? Maybe um, 10 seconds and I'll turn on my razors and I've still got beautiful, clear hearing. One thing that's incredible about these gun ranges, the public ones, is you can come up here and find endless supplies for reloading. I mean, look at this beautiful brass, all the casings, the cartridges. You know, this stuff's expensive. And here you go. It's all just sitting here. Also, targets. People will leave you know, unused targets all over the place. These are spendy, okay? So here we go. Got my free targets for the day. I'm gonna set them up back here. Now I'm walking around free right now on the range. Obviously you've got to know your range safety. If there were shooters here, no one's here, it's just me. So I'm able to move freely. But you always have to be aware and announce yourself, you know? <laughs> First, you're visually checking. Is anybody shooting? Anybody reloading? Is there anybody there? Okay, there is. You need to make a big announcement. Hey, everybody, you need to make eye contact with every person on that range and say, are we clear? I need to go down range and set up a target. We clear, everybody. Make a big deal out about it because it's all about safety. So, since no one's here, it's just me, we're good to go. Today, I've got my trusty Glock 19 that is my concealed. We're going to shoot at a couple targets, do some real slow targeted exercises. Okay, I'm ready to shoot. Again, no one else is here on this range with me, but no matter what, I'm checking everywhere, right? There's no other humans here. I'm shooting down range, I'm gonna look down range. Everywhere, is there anybody down there? Any animals, anything? There's nobody there, I might even, hey, hey, hey. Nobody there, I'm good to shoot. So I've got my double ear protection on, got my oranges inside, got my walkers, and I've got my glasses. So you always wanna make sure that you have some sort of eye protection. Just gonna be taking real slow calculated shots at these targets, okay? And I'm concealed, so that's how I wanna practice. I wanna make sure that I'm practicing with the way it's gonna be. So if I take my coat off, well, that's not how I'm gonna be walking around like this, right? I'm walking around like this. So I need to practice, you know, pulling up, coming down, pushing out the weapon, taking my shots, right? Checking my six, checking my six, staying on target, coming back, putting away the weapon. 
Now checking your six is an exercise you're gonna use for plus one. You always have to remember the plus one. Okay, so you've got one person that you're engaging with, right, here, one threat. You always have to remember plus one, plus one, and what does that mean? It means that you've just neutralized this threat, but they've got a buddy. Okay, there's someone else. That's the plus one. So you need to always be looking, okay? Checking your six. Your six is your butt, what's behind you, okay? So that's basically the exercise I'm doing. I'm on a cool app that I found called Ground News. It gives you the news in a different way. It shows you how the story is being reported by different media outlets. So you pick your favorite topics. A story comes up that we've got the left side reporting it, the right side reporting it, and the center reporting it. It shows you who those media companies are owned by and which way they lean. It's fascinating to see how different media outlets report it using their bias. And my favorite part of all is this little button called the blind spot. This shows you who's not reporting it at all. I like to see every side of the story and the Ground News app helps me do that. Check out Ground News. There's a link in the description to get you 15% off any of their plans. Back to it. So now things have changed. I've got other people that are joining me on this range, right? It's open to the public. So I've moved behind the barrier and I'm real aware of where other people are. So I'm checking, always checking. It's my responsibility as the shooter to know where everybody else is. Bingo. We're all safe. Now when I make safe this weapon, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop the magazine, okay? I'm going to lock the slide back. I'm gonna come in here with my pinky, okay? I'm gonna visually look down the barrel. I'm gonna stick my pinky in there. Barrel's clear, okay? Turn the weapon, and I'm gonna put my two fingers up the source of feed. Where the magazine goes, I'm gonna rotate the weapon, look at the bolt face, okay? So it's one, two, three. And to be extra sure, you can always just rack the hell out of the weapon. And get these out of here. Okay, the word is that they have changed the rules up here. We are now allowed to camp for up to 14 days. I can see these little, you know, turnoffs. And people have definitely been here. There's actually um, little fire pits. So if that's the new rule, I like it. So these locals I just met back here at the shooting range were telling me that up this road is where the new dispersed sites are. So we're gonna head up there and see if we can find them. Okay, I stopped here just so you can get a nice view of this valley below me here. Give you an idea of what Oregon looks like. Yeah, I found um, one of the dispersed sites and unfortunately it's full. So I know they're here, they're open. I will come back. This could be the place that I can shoot this next video. So I'm real excited about that. Just because it's so close to me. You know, it's such a blessing to literally 60 minutes and I'm here up at 1200 feet in the beautiful Tillamook forest. Pretty magical. All right, catch you later.